Hey, what's going on guys? Broken Machine here. Today, I'm going to share some infantry tips, how to deal with those vehicles, and navigate around the map more effectively. First things first, if you're having trouble unlocking weapons or not being able to, you can head over to the Battlefield website, click the BF1 picture, click Loadout, then find something you need and click Buy. You may have to do this while in the server. So let's talk infantry and start with those pesky vehicles. If you're using a sniper, switch to those K bullets and fire at will. These don't do too much damage, but if you're in the right spot at the right time, you may just pop off a nice little triple. Then of course there's the assault class with their anti-tank grenades, and also the light anti-tank grenades that every class can equip. Make sure to use those. Mines are of course very effective. Make sure to drop these around the flex, particularly on the main paths where vehicles are likely to travel. Dynamite also does the job pretty well. Positioning yourself correctly is a real key to dealing with vehicles. Try to avoid being out in the open as much as you can. Moving on to infantry, positioning once again is really important and so is how you navigate around the map. Remember to use cover as much as you can, move from building to building, checking the rooms, particularly the roofs. You don't need to waste too much time checking everywhere, but try to get a good idea of the flow of the map and flank around the back as much as possible. Not all the way outside, but around the flags, just try to get around the back and attack from a variety of angles. One good tip is to trip the flags to lure your enemies out. Don't jump right in the middle and do try to stay on the edges and you'll find lots of cover there that you can use to shoot from and to defend more easily. Take note of some of the clips here. I'm moving from room to room, clearing out the area as much as I can, and when in trouble, I go for cover. As for the weapons, sniping is pretty straightforward. Aim for the head, SMGs and LMGs. Single shots can work at longer ranges, but holding down fire is usually the way to go for most gunfights. Do be careful though not to hold it down for too long especially when targets are moving across the screen. Unless you're in close quarter combat, try to aim at the chest. Headshots are great up close, but at longer ranges, it's usually best just to dump a load of bullets in rather than taking your time to get headshots. Of course, if they're stood still, it may be wise to tap for those headshots. Another thing, you don't show up on the minimap when you're firing anymore, so use that to your advantage and take more risks. One thing that can really help you out as an infantry player and your team is to try and cap the flags in order. If you go rushing off at the start to a flag that's all the way across the map, you'll have a tough time capping it. Capping flags in order, A to B to C for example, will result in more teammates near each other and thus a much tougher force for the enemy to deal with. Remember this when deciding on which flag to go for next. And one last thing, spot your enemies. More people need to be doing this, just press R1 or R2, depending on how you have it set up. One more thing, make sure you use those stationary weapons around the map. I see a lot of people just running straight past these. There's plenty around, make sure you use them. They are highly effective against vehicles. I think with BF1, positioning is like the huge thing here now. Before, in BF4, you could get away with some bad positioning. But in this time, I, I think it's going to be a lot harder. And if you want to see some really good positioning and map knowledge, be sure to check out my sniper commentary that's coming up later on today. There's an 18 kill streak going on in there, and it's on rush on defense. It's a really nice game. And that is all for today, guys. Simple and quick tips, but very effective. Let me know what you think of the open beta. Rate my tips if you don't mind, and we shall see you soon. Apologies for the rage on stream. I was getting a little frustrated. Um, I just wanted to put this at the end. You know, I've been a little frustrated lately and there was some laggy servers. The FPS was dropping and it was all coming together at the wrong time. And I was just like, I just needed to let off a little steam. So apologies for the rage, but you know, I love you guys. So glad you watch my content. I'm glad you turn up for the streams. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you soon. Catch you later.